Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jan, and this is Vlogmas. We open tea advance and hang out for the day and see what we get up to. We usually have a cup of tea at the end with my wife, Jeanette, and you might see our kitty, Gary, floating around. <laughs> He's so cute. He's just a second. Oh, here he is. Say hello. He just uh, finishing up his breakfast. He smells a little like fish. <laughs> Whew, okay, I have a busy day today, but that's okay. We're gonna see what we can do. Let's get the advance open super quick. Chamomile, white pear, saltosaurus, princess peach, North African mint, and there is what we have for day 15 from Tesaurus Tea, Char Brew, David's Tea, Adagio, and Sense and Sensibility. I think we have a pretty great lineup. We're going to add in one more because that's great. <laughs> We're gonna add in the Silk Tea Co's Seven Wonders in Oolong. Okay, the day has started. I've had my breakfast. I made up a cold brew with the Sense and Sensibility, so I am starting with some advance, but I, I just needed a cup of tea that just was perfect for me. And that is Coffee Puer from David's Tea. Um, I found a little packet of it and yeah, I'm just very happy. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. I gotta get to work and I'm going to, um, yeah, that's what's happening. Nothing super exciting today. I have some chores I have to get done and I have some work to get done. I'm gonna set some timers and kind of toggle between the two. And I find that works really well for me, especially not diving too far into, um, you know, anything, if that makes sense. I don't know. And thank you for all the kindness about me singing and for anybody that was unkind about me singing, keeping it to themselves was spectacular. <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> I am definitely like, if you watch Bob Burgers, definitely like Linda constantly like singing random things and it's just I don't know it just brings me joy so there we go <laughs> I'm just I, I'm just always so thrilled at the diversity of people and projects that I get to work on it's just so invigorating and yeah just brings a smile to my face I have a couple errands to run and then um, I have some things to prep for for this afternoon. I was hoping to go for a walk, but it looks awful out. So just maybe just errands and get back to it. And maybe make some tea for the afternoon. And gracious, my hair. <laughs> and I gotta feed Gary. Gary is um, asking for his lunch snacks. So can't disappoint the baby. Baby? Oh, who would ever disappoint you? No, you're so adorable. Yeah, lunchtime, almost lunchtime, an hour early, but let's go. Okay. <laughs> Check the post office. It's fun because there's things there. I can't wait to share that with you. I don't, I don't know what it is, but we'll figure it out together. And then just an impromptu lunch with Jeanette. So I'm very excited. We're going to Bistro 22, which is one of my favorite spots in downtown Truro. Um, the chef is marvelous. Uh, yeah, they're all just wonderful there. And I know I've taken you there before. It's just, it's just really nice and they have just great lunch and great atmosphere and 
yeah, it's just, I really like it. I'm super excited to see Jeanette for lunch. So that's always fun to be able to kind of just have an impromptu lunch with your wife, right? <laughs> okay, so we're going to go do that. I can't wait to have a chat with her. It's always good that way. Because I just... I don't know what to say. I learned... I, I heard something and it's kind of impacting me. So I'm trying to keep my spirits up and not get down about that. But it's just... Life is short and people are the most important thing and yeah. Anyways, on we go. Lunch with Jeanette. <laughs> Okay, I'm home. I had a wonderful lunch with Jeanette. That was so sweet, so nice. I just, it, she just like makes me so happy. And it's just really nice to be able to like have an impromptu lunch with her. It's just, yeah, completely delightful. Very, very happy. Um, so this afternoon I have to get some things done before I have a client call. And I thought we could use our little pea pot. I got him all like rinsed up and everything and he's ready to go. So, so sweet. And I thought we could use this here mug. I haven't used that mug, I think, this Vlogmas. So I thought that would be fun. And who doesn't like kitties and pigs together at last? <laughs> um... And we're going to try the Seven Wonders from the Silk Tico. If you've been around for a while, you know that I love the Silk Tico. She released a, just an oolong trip um, this past spring, summer. I don't know, time just floats together. So we're going to do that. I have my hot water thermos with my cute little sticker that Jeanette designed. So cute. I support TNR, so that's trap, neuter, release, um, so that the little stray kitties can can be safe. MJ is the owner of the Silk Tea Co, and I have done an interview with her before, and uh, it's just fascinating. I'm just so fortunate to be able to not only talk to different like people in the tea industry, but like hear people's backstories and they so like inspire and empower me oh wow that smells lovely mind my dry 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 hands oh so dry okay and we have some oolong in here so that means i i'm just gonna use this for oolong and hi bear bear carrie's like piggy pot what's a piggy pot do you want to come see you want to come help me Come here. Okay. Whoopsie, spilled a bit. Spilled a lot. Gare Bear. Gare Bear. And I also have some chocolate treats for my afternoon. <laughs> and this here matcha lint ball. Not for kitties, because it's chocolate. But for kitty bombs. <sighs> okay. So we're just going to let this steep up and then I'm going to pour it. I hope you're able to see everything. I should have put this up, up on something. I'm trying to teach Gary not to put his paws on my desk. That's our new rule. It's our house rule, isn't it? Can you see this? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pour some for you and then I'll pour some for me and Gary. So 
cute. He's pouring out of his nose. So adorable. And then we're just going to be able to re-steep this. What do you think? Yeah. Um, but yeah, hard to show you. But there's the color. What do you think? It, it smells so amazing. Wow. Like the dry smelled good, but this is amazing. Like a little bit of sweetness, but like that like woodsy smell. Oh, that is delightful. Okay, that will keep me going for the afternoon. And Gary will make sure I keep on task. Right here, beer. All right, what do you think? Back to work? And with that, the afternoon just zips by. It is now 4.30. Jeanette should be getting home soon. And I think this is my last little cup of oolong. It has been a wonderful treat for the afternoon. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's always good to chat with people. Um, yeah, I'm just very fortunate for the people that I get to work with. And I'm so, so happy and so grateful. So, mm. okay, let's go see what Jeanette's been up to today. Besides having lunch with me. It is Friday, right? Yes, welcome. It's Friday, home. yes, thank you. <laughs> Happy to be here. <sighs> All right, before we get into it, let's taste these teas so that I can enjoy them while we chat because I okay. think we have a lot to cover. It, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first up, we have these two teas in very similar teacups the oh gracious oh <laughs> so i'm not left-handed why, why don't you there we go okay <laughs> clearly i'm not left-handed yeah um wow that hand just doesn't know what it's doing <laughs> okay so we've got these teas in these teacups, these are antique Ainsley teacups that are of a similar pattern but different shapes, which I think is super nifty. But maybe that's just my dorky side coming out in me. Oh, it is nifty. Yeah. Do you want to uh, describe them? or? Um, okay. From Adagio, there's one called White Pear. White tea, apple pieces, natural pear flavor low caffeine which one is that uh, do, do, do. all right let me i can't remember i think that one's white pear and i think that one oh i'm sorry yes i don't think that's pear whoops i've made a mess i've made a terrible mistake what is that <laughs> do i do this yeah i'll just do this it's your blog <laughs> do what you like um yeah yes i believe you're correct let's not use my left hand no so this is the white pear yep. from adagio yes it's, yep. it's 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 light on oh, the pear but <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it smells really nice. Mm. It smells floral. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Mm. It's light, light on the pear. You're but right. It's, but it's definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You it's can, got that. That white tea. Mm. Yeah. That makes sense. With the sweetness from the apple. Yeah. The pear is not super pear -y which I'm happy about. And up next. So you really like pears. I like pears to eat them, but I don't like like pear taste. Pear, like, pear cider. Oh, I do like that. It's pretty good. 
<laughs> Maybe I do. Like anyway, um, <laughs> day 15 from Tesaurus Tea is called Saltosaurus. It is a titanic caramel and pineapple puer that will knock your socks off. Uh, black tea, puer style, almond pieces and chamomile, bamboo leaves, pineapple pieces, cornflower petals, and natural organic compliant flavors. Oh, I kind of like that. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. There's some left in the cup, so. <laughs> I didn't spill it all. Let us spill the tea! <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not <laughs> it's probably not your type of teas neither of these are probably your type of teas no but i i like them yeah the pineapple what was that neighbors okay. <laughs> the pineapple yeah it is interesting mm. isn't it mm -hmm. like i'm pretty it's sure like, that's what i'm yeah it's a very tasting the most unique I can taste the chamomile, um, yeah, but I like chamomile too, so. Pineapple was not everybody's cup of tea. Or slice of pizza, because some people oh. don't like it on pizza, and they get very angry if you put it on pizza. I love pineapple. I, and that's good that we both love yeah. pineapple on pizza. Yeah, do you I, love pineapple on pizza? <laughs> I love it. People are shouting at the at their phones. I know. And screens yeah, now. people are very in one way or the other. Very. Um, what's that? People know what they passionate. Like. Passionate. Yes. <laughs> so, not speaking whatsoever about pineapples. <laughs> this is it's, not a pineapple. No, it is an acorn. <laughs> Which my friend gave me and sent home with Jeanette two months ago, and I got today. <laughs> So thank you so much. It has a little top hat. I'm going to glue it back on and I'm going to put it in my container full of stuff. Or I might do something else with it. Actually, I might do something else with it. I'm super excited. Thank you so much, Tim. Wow. Yay. Yeah, it was greener and stuck together when he gave it to me and I it got lost in my work bag. Yeah, so. those things happen. Um, now Gary is running around. He's doing we, laps. We also have this. Uh, organic North African mint, refreshingly minty and spicy from David C. Um, this is one of Jan's favorite. Yeah. Organic green tea, ginger, peppermint, cardamom, licorice root, fennel, clove, black pepper. Wow. It's so funny because when you read those things, I'm like, I don't like those things. <laughs> may, may I? And then I'm like, honestly, like, I love this tea. No, I don't want to try it. It's okay. Thank you, though. I will drink the whole thing. <laughs> I, I like these. I don't want to. Yeah. Um, I also had this, the Sense and Sensibility. I say peach. Princess peach. Ah. I had it as a cold brew. Do you want to try it? Yeah. It's really good. Uh, so it has hibiscus, peach, mango, orange, elderberry, rose hips, and pineapple. It's a pineapple day. Mmm. Isn't that nice? That looks very nice. Yeah, right? Perfect cold brew. Like, I thought that was beautiful. Mm. Right? I really like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'd probably like it better as cold. Yeah. I think it would be nice hot, but mm. good, good cold too. And I used the piggy today. I showed them. Oh, nice. Um, oh, don't. This is Careful with your left hand. hand. Do you need Anyways, dinner? there's oolong in there. So there is. Yeah. I don't know. This would be cold. You can taste it if you want. Um. <laughs> this thing sounds so appetizing. It, it, it was the Zoak Tico Seven Wonders. Um, it was a good oolong. Mm. Not my favorite, though, from really? the Zoak Tico. Yeah. I, she, I really she like that. Even cold. That I, like better. Uh, I do still. No, I drink it. No. I, I will make. I will make some hot later. But yeah, the little mm. piggy is so cute where he pours out of his nose. <laughs> it was just adorable. Well, but yeah, so that's open. So feel free to yes, drink I will. away at that. I will. So I think that catches that up. Whew, gracious. And we have mail. We have open. mail. So first up is this one, which is super adorable. It's a sand card. 
there's actually like little pieces of sand. I don't know if that's gonna show up. Maybe if I do it like this. These here little black pieces are actually like chunks of rough sand. So that is from my <laughs> friend Tanya when she was on travels. And there's kitties. Yay! <laughs> slowly turning her into a cat person. Yep, it'll happen. And she said, it happens to the best of us. I'm a Gary person. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it starts. Yeah, right? Yeah, Gary can make anybody a cat person. So we have this here from oh. Grand River Tea. Am I opening this? Yeah. Is that you gave it to me? For sure. For sure. So Lynn from Grand River Tea, thank you so much for sending this to us. It's, how do you pronounce that? Yapon? I believe so. It's Y-A-U-P-O-N tea. And she explains what Yapon tea is and all of the details. And I can't wait to dive in more when we actually try that because we're not going to try it today. But I just, I'm excited to do, to dive in and ex try it with you. The, it's a unique indigenous plant native to North, to North America. Yeah. So yes, that will be yeah. very exciting. And look at the cute little card. So good. Packet of tea. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lynn, from Grand River Tea. So appreciate it. And we're going to try that. And it's yes. Yapon Winter Bliss. Yes. That sounds super fun. So fun. I love it. I love trying new tea. So, Grand River Tea. Yes. Manitoba, Canada. But it was um, grown in Texas, USA. Yeah. Interesting. But Okay, north, that's that's north. That's all North America. We're we're gonna dive in deeper mm -hmm. once we explore more. So we have this here box as well, which Do you is need taped. I'm gonna get scissors. Oh, I could get a knife. Please don't get a knife. I'll get scissors. I'll get scissors. Okay, uh, for my twelve days of drink mess, I believe we're on day nine of this. Which is Nova Coffee Roasters. I'm just gonna slice this open. You keep going. I won't open open it. I'm just gonna. You you no. <laughs> Away from you. Not towards you. No, you're still no. I'm gonna just get no. it in and there then you do go. this. Yes. You Away you can do the coffee and okay. I'm gonna cut this All right. open. <laughs> <laughs> um It's from Nova Coffee Roasters, but it's called Novel Tea Espresso Roast. What? And Novel Tea is the name of the cafe that put this 12 Days of Drinkmas together. So, yeah, that's uh, in Lakeville, Nova Scotia. That's just outside Halifax, right? Yes, it is. Yes. Um, tasting notes. Fruit, nuts, and chocolate. Great as both an espresso and a drink coffee. A blend of Peruvian, Guatemalan, Ethiopian, and Mexican beans. Well, I will be trying one of these tomorrow, either this one or the ones I've opened, I, um, or the ones from previous days. Yeah, because you still have I a couple, that right? I haven't, yeah, I haven't tried them yet. I okay. opened them to smell them, but I haven't actually tried them, and we'll make sure the burr is in the correct position for the method of brewing that we choose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm very much looking forward to that and okay. just relaxing with a coffee and not just like getting it and running to work and then like yeah. getting a sip here and there throughout my morning yeah um and to savor it so that's exciting it really is I'm excited to hear your overall thoughts once that is done and I know we're close yeah but from somebody just watching, I'm like super impressed with it. Yeah. Like as being like a Nova Scotian and seeing all the different, like I didn't know there was that many, so. Yeah, and I already want to source out a couple of them yeah. to try again, so. Yeah, that's exciting. 
Okay, so we have What's a box. What's in the box? I know. It is from Momo. Thank you so much. This is, wow. <laughs> so if wait, you've, wait, wait. Move this if you've watched there. previous videos besides just Vlogmas, you would have watched where I did like a little quick interview with Momo, who was, she's a tea company, like a business owner, but she also organized tea the Festival. Toronto Tr Japanese Tea Festival. Mm. Yeah, it was so fun to hear about it and yeah. to interview her. And like, I really hope that someday I'm able to go. So thank you very much, Momo. Jolly Christmas, Jolly Christmas. Christmas. stockings. Yeah, that's so Love cute. <sighs> All right, we have Momo's Sencha which you're probably going to love. Mm. Why does my vision like start to go in the evening? It's green tea, but then it has rhubarb peach flavor from oh. Japan. That actually, we both might like that. Yeah. Like, that's the branding with like the pink. Love that. Like, a blush pink. Yeah. Millennial pink, maybe. Super pretty. None of like a Golden Girls pink. Wrong generation. <laughs> Old. Oh my gracious. <laughs> This is actually the festival. Oh! And the tote. Nice! Yeah. So that's super nifty. I love that. This feels like I was there. Thank you. Oh, oh wow. It sure does. <laughs> we might have to share. Okay. Oh my! <laughs> You're going to have to open that one. Okay. Oh, this is Jeanette's, one of Jeanette's favorites. Yes! How do you pronounce it? Genmaicha? Genmacha? Genmacha, maybe. Or is the G, the G might be a hard G. Genma, Genmaicha? Gen, Genmaicha? I can't remember how to pronounce you it. You would think that I would know how to pronounce my favorite tea. Yeah. And I've had people say it to me and I still... It's one thing for I, me not to be able to because I can't pronounce anything. <laughs> and I just go with it. No. But anyway, the thing is, I love this tea when we have sushi. It's green tea. It has... Um, the rice, toasted, toasted rice, rice in and it. popcorn usually. Brown know. rice. Oh, this one has matcha powder and black bean. Interesting. I, I think it's just like fantastic. Thank you so much. I, I don't like... think they all actually have little bits of popcorn. I think the toasted rice kind of tastes like a popcorn, and that's why some places put it in to the blend. Um, this is a big bag of hojicha. Oh. That's but amazing. it's not the. I don't think it's the powdered. It feels like the whole leaf, maybe. I think. That's amazing. Thank you so much. This is wow. Um, the box just keeps on. It's it just keeps on giving. It does. Wow. Um. <laughs> Yuzu Sencha. Oh my gracious. Hang on a second here. Voodoo Sencha. Green tea, grape flavor, oh. blue mellow flower. Oh my gosh. Did she send me like all of her tea? Incredible! Ringo Sencha. Green tea, dry apple. Oh my gosh. This gracious. is a deep, This is so fun. A deep steamed Sencha. Melon Sencha. <laughs> <laughs> um, also sent oh I'm gosh. using Google Translate, so bear Look with Look at me this here. package. I can't open this. I just don't want to be missing anything. Oh, this is a roasted tea. Oh my gosh, this is matcha. But like, look at the packaging. It's like, I am completely stunned. Yeah, I, I don't even... I'm trying here, but brown rice tea. Excellent. Love it. Japanese tea festival. So this is like, it looks like a... This is matcha. So this looks this like is. a... Um, what's that called? Like a, like a little tea towel. Oh, cute. With like the branding from the festival all over it. That and is amazing. This... 
the... Oh my gosh, and another one. The images. Oh, what were these? And the different... We just keep finding things. Those are so neat. Oh my gracious. I'll put these came in one. Sleeve. And there's another one of the... these. Oh, you know what I think? Mm hmm. I think we got a three giveaway. No, not the one I've been. No, no, this one though. Okay. This is yes. the same. I think that this is so amazing. And, and we just want to share, right? Yes. I'm like. I, I, I just. and going and going i actually do not have one of these this is like the little <gasps> scoop Nate. for the, the matcha yeah yeah it's the proper scoop oh all this time i've never ever I, I look never at that one. thank you so much that is amazing feel that like that's incredible and a whisk <laughs> That is unbelievable. Wow. I'm just, I don't even know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Oh, it's, um, it's, oh, it's gorgeous. That is so beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Oh my little, god. Yeah. So it's a matcha bowl. Look. Like and look at inside. There's a little a little flower. Can you see that? That is unreal. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Momo, thank you so much. Or our cup overflows. Like, literally, literally and figuratively. Like, this is uh, amazing. Incredible. Like, this is like unreal. I am so generous. Incredibly generous. Like, wow. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. I usually go to the post office on Fridays, so this was like a delightful time. <laughs> so much tea to try and like a sweet postcard and the tea from Grand Tea. Like, I'm just so like, yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> now we get to open tea Advent. pots. Advent. Is it a sticker sheet? It's a sticker sheet. A snowman on it oh and goodness. lights and t okay so we call these that's a toque yeah well here it's a toque and in some places they call it a beanie a beanie yeah no but a beanie we, is just like the little thing with the propeller yeah yeah but not here but i there are places where it's called a beanie and oh, that's that's a anyway <laughs> anyway it's a sticker sheet <laughs> With the skates and the like the mittens with the string. Yes. I bet you had those. I did. Did you have them? I think so. I thought everybody had them. I used to hate it when my mittens would get like sopping wet. Or they'd get like balls Big. of frozen snow yeah. all around your cup and your your, yes. your wrist would be like almost red. Yes. And then you'd take Which off I'd your probably mittens. Probably frostbite or something. Yeah. And the mittens would like <laughs> just be so soaked. Yeah. Day 15. Mm. Um, I know we had some questions around like books and stuff. And I'm excited to answer Ooh, that. What's oh, this? That looks what good. is it? Coconut uh, praline. Yeah. Or Co no. Coconut. Or or coconut <laughs> praline. Did I send you the Brussels sprouts thing? Yes. I love that. You have to so, tell them. So, someone uh, one year for Christmas gate. Her dad loved Ferrero Rocher's, which they're like spherical 
with like uh is it nuts yeah. crisps anyway a, and a ball and they have like a, a uh, hazelnut yeah and a hazelnut filling and they're wrapped in gold and they've got like a little tiny gold almost like a cupcake liner that goes in yeah. well one year um she took them out and wrapped them all up in the wrappers and gave them to him and he opened it up and they were obviously brussels sprouts green and he was mad and then it went by a couple of years because he wasn't very trusting of it. And then the second year or the third year, whatever, oh, okay. she, she let it, she let him forget about it for a while. And she then let him trust the, yeah, for she her got his trust again. back again. <laughs> and then she took the Brussels sprouts, it dipped them in chocolate and stuff to make them look like real Ferrero Rochers and then wrapped yeah. them up and actually resealed the package and he was still not trusting and it that was like christmas eve and on christmas day i think he actually opened one up and popped it in his mouth and <laughs> the brussels sprout cha chaos and soon <laughs> and i know you love brussels sprouts but even you would be disappointed by I, that i would be very upset. expecting chocolate and yeah. tasting that i think that stuff like that is fun for others <laughs> joke on me but it's fun to hear about <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh dear i love it um so. so i'm sorry we had questions oh yeah so we had questions about um the books and stuff and there was a few other questions as well so we're hoping that this weekend we're going to be able to have a little bit more time yes and um, ponder that a little bit more that. yeah yes. i'm just super excited yeah, I'm a little overwhelmed. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I also want to thank Luann. Yes. I don't know if you are subscribed to her newsletter. You should be if you're not. She is the teacup of life. And she also has that book that I showed you. And we made her scones. Usually I make her regular scones and I don't mess them up. <laughs> and uh, she actually gave uh, Vlogmas a shout out. So thank you so much. That just like, yeah, made my day. <laughs> but at the beginning, she was talking about how she like has the classic scone recipe and she linked to it. And I'm like, I, I feel seen. Like, I feel like she's like... <laughs> start with the skin yeah. jam yeah maybe some of, maybe some of you should start with the basics before yeah. getting creative with it but she linked the fancy one with like the icing and it's so pretty and stuff yeah so i was clearly just way too hungry i mean they taste good they do but like it just the consistency like the texture just was off a little bit and definitely my issue but yeah okay and oh. with that, oh, yeah. oh my gosh, sorry, it just, <laughs> am I startling you? <laughs> we did go look at Christmas lights last night. We did. I, I got out of the car because one of the things. I did not. Yeah, we're going to save the recording and I want to go out to a couple other spots maybe over the next week. Yeah. And then come up with like a complete video compilation. Is that how you pronounce that? If that's the word you're looking for, that mm -hmm. is how you pronounce yeah. it, yes. Of all the lights and just to make it a little bit magical. But I will tell you a little sneak peek. I got out of the car, Jeanette stayed in the car, and I wandered into this person's yard. I think I went the wrong way. I almost came face to face with a deer. I did check the footage and I got it on the footage and you can hear me go, <laughs> I wish I had footage of when you got back to the car. <laughs> Alas. <laughs> I do not. I, I should have left the door locked. <laughs> it was dark and I got like really scared and I basically like... It wasn't it, late. It was like 6.30 or something. I know, but, but like I, I got it was, scared. It was kind you're of... You're like the only one. Yeah. I was the was, only one there. There was nobody like peeking out windows. It was on a dead end street. <laughs> I was, I was basically like jumped in the car and drove off. <laughs> and she As like, she's putting her seatbelt on and turning on the lights, the car's going, and I'm like, "What? What happened?" Uh, yeah. Oh dear. So yeah, that will, literally. That will yes. 
Yes. <laughs> it was very picturesque, Phil, I guess. Yes. Like, anyways, all of that. To lots come. of lights. Yes, yep. lots of lights. Yep. So, yeah. Thank you to everybody. Yes. Thank you to Thank everybody you so that's much. commenting, that's sharing the videos, that's subscribing to the newsletter, that's just like pulling this community together. Like it just, it warms my heart and that's all I want. So thank you so much. And with that, we will chat with you in the comments until tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye.